What's going on guys? I'm going to show you how to make a kill command for an admin script and let me show you what it does. So if you type kill player, I'm going to enter this and it will kill the other player in the game. <laughs> and I'll show you how to make this. So let's do it. Alright, so. Alright, so here we are. We're going to start making this now. So what we're going to do, um, just insert a script into server script service. You you can name it if you want. I'm not going to name it because that doesn't matter right now. You can do it after. So what we're going to do, we're going to start by making a player added event. So basically whenever there's a player, any player that joins the game, this uh, event will run. The, the player added event will run. And you want to send that to a function and then a and then you can pass in a parameter. You can say PLR for short, as in player. So, whenever a player joins the game. If you have any knowledge of how Roblox scripting works, you know what this is. So, then we want to do player, or PLR. Whatever your parameter is here, it should be the player uh, parameter. PLR.chatted connect function. So whenever they chat, we'll say uh, we'll pass in a, another a parameter right here, which is message. So whenever the player who joined the game starts chatting, we can do stuff. So we're gonna make a for loop for um, for uh, for i comma point p uh, player two in pairs game dot players colon get players do so this will return a table with all the players in the game and we just assigned a value named player two so we're gonna say if player dot name does not equal player to that name then so we're just comparing the, the the parameter here the player added parameter with the player two we're gonna mention so we're, we gotta check if it's not them or I don't even know if we have to do that for this now nah, I don't think we do never mind that we might need it later though so we're gonna say if message equals um, you can come up with any kind of command you want. Like you, you can be creative. Like you don't have to copy me. You probably shouldn't copy me. I'm gonna say just kill. I know that's pretty uh, basic. Uh, you can come up with anything you can think of. Really, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just gonna say slash kill. That's the command. That's the syntax. That's the um, that's the way people are gonna say it. So I'm gonna say slash kill. And then dot dot player two dot name then so if the message is equal to kill slash kill dot dot the player two dot name then player two dot character colon break joints all right so that will kill the player that we want to kill um so yeah break joints will just destroy their character it'll break all the joints in their in their legs their arms all of that stuff but what if you want to like do, there's another command we can do. What if you want to kill like all the players, but not yourself? Because I've seen that in some like admin games. I, I, it's very, it's ju just as easy to make. Um, let's drop a couple lines there. We're going to say, uh, if message is equal to kill others, then... For, you know, I'm going to copy this line above just to save time. Copy, paste. And make sure everything looks like this. Everything, like, yeah. Um, I'm going to change this value right here to others, right here. And we can say others.characterbreakjoints. And that's it. I believe that's it. Let's test it. 
I think it could all work. Oh, you know what? No. This is where we have to compare the two names. Like, my, the, my player versus the, all the other players in the game. Because we don't want this to get confused saying, okay, the other player's in the game, but we don't want it to count us as a player to kill. Unless you want it, but you're gonna say if player dot name does not equal um others dot name then all right and make sure you add an, an end right here so you have five ends right there at the at the bottom if you don't have you guys you don't have to do this part but if it's just an a, like a bonus so we can test the game now should all work just fine. I tested this just before, so it should work. Everything should be fine. And give me more ideas for admin commands I can I can do. And and you can tell me what I can do. Because I need more, more ideas. Alright, it's loading. It's loading anytime now. Alright, here we go. So, I don't know which player I am. It doesn't specify that here, but that's Roblox, not me. So, I'm just going to say in the chat, I'm going to type my command, uh, slash kill. Then the player. Um, I'm going to say player 2. I don't know if that's me or not. I'm going to type it. And I killed myself. <laughs> I didn't know that was me, because it says here on the top right, player, player. I don't know who's who. But, if I said kill player one, it would basically kill the other guy. There, as you see right there. On the other screen, it killed player one. But if I said, uh, kill others, it will kill everyone else in the game that's not you. Watch. Just like that. And that's how you make a kill command in Roblox. I hope this helped you guys. Leave more suggestions for admin commands in the comments. And also more video ideas because I need some. I, I'm not great with coming up with ideas. So help me come up with ideas, anything at all. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like, subscribe for more. See you guys next time.